Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get to today's bowls. So, I've done the outside of this one, the first one. I'm trying out a mixture of a couple of bowls that I've done. I've, I've done this shape kind of on another bowl. I've left a rim on, a, on, a, on another bowl. Now I'm tr just trying it out, combining the two. This was the outside. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm, I'm gonna finish this bowl. And I'm gonna go for that today. Actually, I'm gonna just finish every one bowl that I start. So. Let's just keep working, get this done, move on to the next one. I got a long day ahead of me, it's a good day. Hey guys, I quickly finished this bowl, I couldn't get around the inside bend and I just went straight through it, so that's great. So I guess now my, uh, my mother-in-law has a new decorative random item for her stuff.
All right, so here it is, guys. A very, very thin bottom. I haven't even dried the oil off. I'm gonna let it sink in a little bit. Um, a pretty bowl. Pretty, pretty, pretty bowl that came from a bit of an happy accident, shall we say. Um, so yeah. That's that's what came of it. That big, big, massive lump of wood that I started out with became this little pretty, very light, very thin, stylish bowl. Good. Now on to the next one. So the question is here, what to do? Because a face plate just isn't going to cut it. The worm screw, I'm a bit worried that it's not going to hold. I think I'm going to just put it between centers. Start it off that way. I'm going to drill a hole for my drive center. Drive center. Drive center. Drive center. Drive center. I don't know. Put it between centers quickly shape the outside and create my tenon for my chuck and then turn it around mold the inside as 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 I want it and then finish the outside according to the inside with the piece on a wood chuck such as this one hopefully just a bigger one all right let's get going all right, guys, I'm jumping in here quickly just to draw your attention to this massive cutout on this piece. I really, really wish I had removed a lot more from the other side to balance the piece out better. It's really, really unbalanced with this huge cutout in the top right there. Let's get this bowl hollowed out. I'm just gonna start at the middle with a V-cut. I think I might, actually, I might start with the outside cut just to establish the width that I have available and then quickly hollow it out. I'm probably just gonna make it around all the way through on the inside. Try and keep a similar curve all the way through. You know, avoid those inside corners. And here they are, the two live edge bowls. Now I am happy with this one. Um, it came out pretty good. Loving this shape, stands pretty, the bark remained on it it didn't on the bigger one the first one maybe i cut it a little bit too thin but all of a sudden the bark was gone uh, no matter the patterns in this one are amazing well in them both but this one has a little bit extra around here where there was that massive knot thing on the bark. So um, this one, I'm gonna wrap this one up and dry it out for a couple of weeks and give it a sanding again when it's, when it's dried out. There's a, a little bit of tear out in the end grain on the outside. That's a tiny little bit actually. And on the inside there are just a little bit of tool marks that I 
didn't quite sand out today. So that's the plan. On to the next ones. Hey guys, it's day two now. I did manage to pull through four bowls yesterday. The three of them are Spalted Beach and the one of them is the unknown wood that I was given by my old landlord. And well, I got halfway with, uh, with the fifth one. Turned it on the outside to its finished shape. A very nice, very nice curve on the outside. It's a simple bowl. It's not nothing, nothing um, extraordinary about the colors, the uh, markings, or anything. It's just a very, very plain, dense wood. And I'm gonna quickly hollow this one out before I get to the price of the whole bunch. Ah, this one, this is a big one. This is a heavy semi green spalted beech wood. This is going to be a treasure. I'm sure I've made the process as easy as possible. I've turned it to what I think is the max diameter for this bench and shaved all the corners off. So it's really, really close to round, uh, which means that I hopefully am going to be able to maintain as much size as possible. And then I shaved off much of this to match um, well yeah there used to be bark on here um, so I just shaved that off uh, to match that because I was going to remove it anyway easier to do it with the chainsaw probably and there are tiny little cracks in the end grain that I'm hoping are just superficial. I'm really, really hopeful. There's a pith in here, I notice, but that just might coincide with the lowest point of the whole face here. So I might just remove it, get it out of the way, not to worry about it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this piece. But first I'm gonna hollow out the dry piece over there and then I am on to this treasure. Keep watching guys. I can't wait to see what this ends up looking like. All right. By the way guys, if you are liking this video, do give me a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel, of course. Hit the notification nice. bell. And let's get back to work.
time for this gem from this batch. The last bowl is certainly not the least in this batch. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna put the face plate on here. Although as it stands now, the face plate is not stable enough. So I'm gonna bring it over to my workbench. I'm gonna plane off the surface real quick just to make it such that, I, that my, um, my face plate sits stable so that I can screw it on and turn it safely. Let's go guys. All right guys, so it's a couple of days later and I've been editing video for hours and hours and hours and well, here they are. The first one, a little cutie, lightweight, very, very thin. The second one, the live edge, the bigger one of the two. I've, I've been unpacking bowls just to show you guys. The third one, my girlfriend loves this form. Same as I said previously in the video, loving this shape. I'm still as impressed. It's very, very clean, very nice. I love it. The fourth and the fifth one from the dry piece of unknown whatever wood ended up shining very nicely. Simple form, almost identical apart from the size. The one fits perfectly inside the other. And last and certainly not least, this giant bowl. I mean, this is the most impressive piece I have turned on a lathe in my life. Hooray! Yay! I'm just so incredibly thrilled about it. It's just amazing. I'm gonna pack this into paper again 
uh, and let it sit for at least six weeks, um, possibly even eight. I'm not sure I can hold back. Uh, I really, really want to oil this piece up and see how the grain is going to come alive. But I need to let it rest, uh, dry out and give it a final sanding. And this, this is just going to be a gem. Um, and well, what more is there to say? Thank you so much for watching. It's been a long time, 30 minutes or so. I hope I didn't waste your time. Uh, I hope you watched the video through. If you're still here, give me a like. Subscribe to the channel for more of this content. I'm getting my rhythm going in this new shop and everything is laid out perfectly for me to just keep making videos. Um, click the little notification bell so that you can get notified when I post new videos. And I will see you in the next one. See you guys and thank you so much. Bye. Ha 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 ha. Du er bare kom. Jeg vil bare give dig noget. Du er bare kom. Jeg vil bare komme. Skal, damn it guys.